Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a moon, star, and planet in Adobe Illustrator and then fill them with a galaxy scene. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm just going to come over here to Create New. I'll choose Print from the top up here, and then I'll choose Letter, and we'll come down here to Create. So now we have our new document, but we need to go out to the internet to find a galaxy image. So let's go to Vecteezy.com. Now when you're using Vecteezy artwork, you'll need to read the Vecteezy license because there are specific rules about how you can and cannot use these vectors. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a search. So I'm just going to type galaxy. And we get 29,000 results, which is quite a lot. Now, anything that has a little star up here, it means that you cannot download it for free. You have to be a pro user, and that costs money every month. So let's find a free one so we can download to practice with it. Okay, and this one's looking pretty nice. I'll click it. And yes, this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to come over here and do the free download. And as you see, it says attribution required. So make sure you know all the rules about that before using this. Now when it downloads, it's going to download right down here in the corner. So I'm going to choose this little button right here and show in Finder. And this comes in as a zip file. So on a PC, you'll want to right click and choose extract or extract all. And on a Mac, you'll just double click it. When we double click, it'll give us a folder that has some files in it. And we want the EPS file. So I'm going to click and drag it right on top of my Illustrator icon. Okay, and that will give me this background. Now, honestly, we could just use this as our new document, but I'm going to copy and paste it into this document. But first, I want to get rid of the Space and Galaxy background text. So to do that, I'm going to hit Z on my keyboard to get to my zoom tool and just draw a box around that to zoom right into it. Now I'm going to hit G. Now G is group selection. You might not be able to get to that with that. I, I think that might have been something that I set up. So just choose group selection. It's underneath your direct selection. And then I'm going to click right on the edge of this. And it's highlighted the outer edge of that uh, thin line. And it looks like it's white. So let's go up to select same fill color. And now it's selected all of this. Let's hit E on our keyboard. That'll show us everything that's selected. It looks like nothing else in here is exactly that same color. There are a lot of white looking points, but they're probably a little bit of a different color. Okay, so let's delete that. And this is a very complex vector. So if we hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, we can see all the little paths that it took to create this. So it is quite a crazy file, but that's okay. We can still use it. Hit Command Y or Control Y to get back. Now I'm going to hit Command A or Control A on a PC and copy this. We'll come over into our untitled document that we just created and we'll paste Command V or Control V on a PC. And it's very small, and that's okay. I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard, and then just get on a corner like this, and then you can see your mouse change into a different type of cursor. We'll hold Shift and resize this. Let's hold Option 2. Option will resize from the middle. Now you might have noticed when we pasted this in and resized it that the colors changed. Let's look at our original document. It's got a lot of really deep, beautiful tones, but in our new document, it's actually kind of just washed out. It's not as good looking. And the reason for this is because I chose print, which is a CMYK color space. So we can change that easily. Let's do it now. I'll go to file, document color mode, RGB. And it's changed it to match the other one that we saw. Okay, so we have this beautiful galaxy scene. Let's go ahead and lock this layer. And now I'm going to create a new layer. And make sure you have it clicked. 
Let's go ahead and turn this layer off also. So I'm going to click on the eyeball right over here on the layers palette beside the layer that I want to turn off. Now we're on layer two um, and we can start drawing here. First, I'll get my star tool. So it's underneath your rectangle tool and it's all the way down here. And then I'm going to hold option and shift and draw a star. I'm just going to hit D on my keyboard and that'll give me a white fill and a black outline for the star. Okay, so star is done. Very easy. Okay, now we're going to draw a planet. So I'll hit L on my keyboard and that'll get me to the circle or ellipse tool. And I think the most interesting planet is Saturn. So first we'll draw the circle for it. I'm going to hold shift and just draw a circle. That'll be a perfect circle because you're holding shift. And now I'm going to let off shift and draw another circle and make it kind of a thin circle like this. And we'll move that down here. Let's go ahead and select both of those and come down here to our align palette and just hit the horizontal align center. By the way, if you don't see some of your panels, you can go to window and just find the panel here. So for example, a line is right here. Now you might have noticed that when I hit a line center, it actually centered it in the middle of my page and I don't want that. So I'm going to go to a line two right down here at the bottom of the align palette and choose align to selection. Then I'll undo and we can just align it to itself. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make these a fill and stroke. So I'm going to click on the star. I'm going to make it green and I'll get rid of the outline. And I'm doing this with the selection tool, by the way, I'm going to make this green also. So I'll hit I on my keyboard and just select that green color. And now this, I want to make into a green stroke only. So I'm going to hit I on my keyboard to get my eyedropper tool, which is right over here and select that green. And that will give me a fill, but not a stroke. Now I can hit shift X and switch those. So now I have only a stroke. And that is the same thing as just clicking this little arrows swap fill and stroke shift it and shift X. Okay. So now let's go to our stroke palette and I'm going to increase the weight of that. You can also hold shift while you're using your arrow keys and get a lot thicker. That looks pretty good. Okay. Let's hit V to get back on our selection tool. And now the last thing we want to make is a moon. So I'm going to use the same circle here. I'll just click on it. Then I'll hold option and drag it. That'll make a copy of it. Now I want to use the same circle to do the cutout of the moon. So I'm going to click on it, start dragging and then hold shift and option. That'll make a copy that's along the same plane. We'll put it right here. Okay. And now we have two pieces that are overlapping. I'm going to select them both with my selection tool and then I'll hit shift M to get the shape builder tool. That's right over here. And you can see the piece we want. We want to get rid of these two pieces. So I'll hold option and just drag across those. And now our moon is done. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm holding shift and dragging a handle from the corner. Okay. Now if you hit command Y or control Y on a PC, you can see our shapes and everything matches except this ring is quite a bit thinner when we see it here. And that's because it's a stroke only. So let's hit command Y or control Y to get back. And I'm going to select these two shapes and expand them. We'll go to object expand. We'll expand the fill and the stroke and say, okay. Now we've got these two pieces and we want to combine them and we can do that with the pathfinder. So let's come down here to the pathfinder window and then just choose shape mode unite. All right. We've got our Saturn simple shape. We've got our star shape and our moon shape. And I'm going to put them right in the middle about where I think that, um, that crazy background is. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to our layers panel. And then we'll turn this layer back on. Okay. Very cool. 
Let me reposition some of these so we get them right where we want them. And then I'm going to select all three and make a compound path. That's Command-8 or Control-8 on a PC. And you won't see any difference, but basically Illustrator is seeing these as one shape. We're going to be making a clipping mask, and these are going to be the mask that this galaxy goes into, if that makes sense. So the mask itself, these three objects, have to be one object. And Illustrator, if these are just grouped, Illustrator will see them as three objects. But if you do compound path, it makes Illustrator see them as one object. Okay, so we've got our compound path. Even though it looks like three objects, it's actually one. And then I'm also going to unlock our layer and then hold shift and select that layer. And now we'll do Command-7 or Control-7 on a PC. You can also go up to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. You can also see this keyboard shortcut right there. All right, so that's the process of masking a galaxy image into a few galaxy shapes. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.